Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some troubleshooting here because something's going on with Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. There's something going on with Doodly today is really weird. Every time I type a new letter, a new mythical creature appears. It's weird. Let's do another one. And one more. How strange is that? You know, maybe something's going on with this scene. So let's try another one. Oh no, it's an ink splat. Maybe the ink markers are leaking. Something's going on. April Fools. Doodly is working just fine, and all of the markers are in perfect condition, I can assure you. There's no leaks going on at all. What you're seeing here is what's called a dingbat font. So let's go back over here. This is actually a font, and all of the different letters are not letters like you're used to seeing, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Instead, each letter on your keyboard is actually a drawing or a symbol. So if I go over here to my fonts tab, and I'll scroll over. This is the one I'm using here. I'm, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Greek myths, something like that. And it's a font that I uploaded into Doodly. And now whenever I type a letter, I get the corresponding mythical creature. So here's Medusa here, I'm typing the lowercase a. And what's really neat about this type of font is these are SVG images, so you can resize them and the quality doesn't degrade. And because they're SVG files, if you were to preview this scene, the hand draws the image just like one of the doodly characters. Now, it's not perfect, you know, it just really depends on the paths that are created in the font itself. You can't control this, so take it or leave it. But it's a great way to get some additional characters or images into your doodly videos. Likewise, this ink blob, that is also a font. It's a dingbat font. And again, there's different ink spots depending on the letter that you type. So if you wanted to add ink blots to your video, this is the font for you. Here's another one that I found with you know, little creatures here. Looks like I have a mouse. Let's see what, if we type in A, what we get. We get an elephant. If we type in the letter A. Now we can change the colors if we'd like. Now we have a red elephant. So how might you use these Dingbat fonts in Doodly? Well, you can use them for images like I've been showing you. They are scalable graphics, so you can enlarge them without losing image quality. And since they are SVG files, they have built-in drawing paths. So the hand draws them in a way that usually makes sense, saving you the time of creating your own drawing paths. So where do you get these Dingbat fonts? If you do a search for free dingbat fonts on Google, you'll find plenty. I found all of these that I'm showing you on 1001fonts.com. It's important to check to see if the fonts that you want are available for commercial use. The ones that I chose were. And then you simply download and install them into Doodly the way you normally would. So now that I've downloaded a font and I've unzipped it, this is my TTF file, and this is the file that I'm going to upload into Doodly. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you go into your text panel, click the blue plus sign, and you can browse for your file or you can drag and drop into there. I'm gonna go ahead and browse, it's in my downloads. And it's placed up at the top, so now I can just drag it into my scene. And you'll see that this is the default text that you get with any um, font that you drag in. So let's add this 
So right here, how it says double click to enter text. Well, this is what this is saying, double click to enter text, except for it's saying it with the different graphics. So like this little bowl here is a capital D. This, it looks like a bicycle pump is a small O. So let's just test that out. Capital D. And here's my bowl. Now it takes a little playing around to figure out which letters go for which image. So what I just now did is I typed in A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So if I was doing a graphic and I wanted this little Volkswagen in there, I would have to go A, B, C, D, E. So it's an E and it's lowercase. So get rid of all of those and type in lowercase e and now i have a little volkswagen i hope this gives you some ideas for alternative graphics in doodly happy april fool's day and thanks for watching